Hi there! Welcome to this Component Studio FAQ. I'm Andrew Voigt, and today we're going to be looking at how to add fonts for use in your projects, and then we'll be looking at how to add and edit text boxes on your designs. Go ahead and start in the Fonts screen. Begin by selecting the project that you want to add fonts to. With your project selected, you can use the green button on any of the font lines to add it to your project. That font will appear in a list near the top of the screen. If later you decide you're not going to use one of these fonts in your project, go ahead and click the trash can button to remove it from the list. You can browse the fonts by scrolling, or you can search the fonts by using the search criteria. Choose whether you want to search between all fonts or my fonts, font categories, weights, and styles. Search for the name of your font to narrow down the list. Now let's say you browse through the entire collection of fonts and you didn't find what's right for you. You have the option to upload your own font to Component Studio. I do want to stress that if you upload a font, make sure that you have the rights to use it. You can use this file finder to carry out that upload. Or, if you have a set of fonts that you want to upload, you can drag and drop them into the Bulk Font Upload section. If you have fonts uploaded, select My Fonts from the search criteria. You'll see here I've uploaded the font named Prototype. With your fonts selected, you can begin using them in your designs. Let's head over to the Design section to show how to create a text box. Begin by choosing the text asset. You can name it if you want. I'm going to enable the outline text area to give us a clear understanding of where the text box lies on the card. By default, you'll see that the text area is in line with the blue safety line around the card. You can change this by adjusting the position and size of the text box Note that if you change the position, the text box will now be going outside the bounds of the card. You'll probably want to change the size of the text box as well. A simple formula for doing this to remain in the safe zone is to take the value you put in the X position, increase it by 75, and then in the width column, you're going to subtract the width by that number. And that's an easy way to make sure that your text box remains within the boundaries. You can do the same formula for the Y column. So I take that 500, I'd add 75, making it 575, and I'd subtract that from the height of the text box. And now my text box is aligned neatly in the right hand corner of my card. If you have the Fit Text to Box option enabled, Component Studio will change your text size to be sure to fit within the size of your text box. For example, if I make this a really small text box, you'll see my text shrinks. I'm going to create a new text box to carry on with my examples. Here we see some alignment options. We can set it to be aligned in the left, center, or right as well as be aligned to the top of the text area, the center of the text area, or the bottom. Keep in note that these alignments refer to the text box, not to the card. Now you can edit the font for your text asset. Open this dropdown and choose one of the fonts we selected from the fonts page. You can adjust the font color and size. You also can add a shadow or a stroke. Feel free to adjust the properties of either of those using the corresponding fields. A font highlight appears directly behind your text, whereas adding the background covers the whole line of the text box. Note that we still have this dark blue word here, downpour that is set by our alternate font. When we add text to the asset, 
When you add an asterisk before part of the text, everything that follows will appear in the alternate font color. To end the alternate font, place another asterisk. So in this case, we have asterisk, card name, asterisk. So this card, Downpour, appears in blue. We can adjust this as we would the regular font. If you want more precise control over how your text appears, use these following settings. You can scale your letters to be stretched either horizontally or vertically in these two boxes. So if you want really wide text, we can add a big percentage in the X box. And now our text appears very wide. Letter spaces increases or reduces the amount of space in between each of the letters. And this value is in pixels. Adding a positive number will increase the space, whereas adding a negative number will reduce it, even to the point where your text overlaps. Line spacing is a percentage and controls how much space there is between two lines of text. Increase it above 100 to increase that gap, or below 100 to reduce it. When set to zero, your text will be written on top of itself. The last set of options that are unique to the text area are the margin ones. Adding a number to any of these will set it so that text will not appear on a section of your text asset. And that's the basics of adding fonts to your designs, as well as adding and editing a text asset. Thank you for viewing this Component Studio FAQ video. If you have other ideas you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment or send us a message. But until next time, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make games to be proud of.